everybody, my name is Becky and I welcome you to my muscle function video series. Today I want to go over the pup lidius muscle. I want to go over its location which includes the origin, also known as the starting point, the insertion which is also known as the ending point, followed by its functions and then finally providing you an exercise or two so you know how to strengthen this muscle the best. So let's get started with the location of the muscle so we know exactly where we're talking about and then we'll build from there. So the origin or the starting point of the pup lidius muscle is located on the lateral epicondyle of the femur. Now that would be on the outside of the knee on the upper portion of the, the knee. And then it runs down crossways down to the posterior, upper posterior medial portion of the tibia. So that would be pretty much on the back side of the lower knee. So just so uh, you kind of get a, an idea of what I'm talking about, I'll pinpoint it out, well not pinpoint, but I'll give you a location of it where it is on my body and then I will give you an illustration of it so you know exactly what I'm talking about. So again, the origin of the popliteus muscle is located on the upper side of that epicondyle or of your knee. So it's located on the upper side and then runs down along the back side of your knee and then connects down here on that upper medial posterior portion of your tibia. So again, just so you know exactly what I'm talking about, I'm going to go ahead and insert that illustration for you right here. So now that you know the location of the popliteus muscle, I'm going to go over its functions. It does have two functions. It does it um, simultaneously. It flexes the knee pretty much from a locked out position whenever your knee is completely locked out and it and you go to bend it the first motion to get it bent is the motion that the popliteus muscle does and then it also internally rotates the knee as it flexes so whenever you flex your knee that looks something like this okay so if you were to lock out your knees and then you go to unbend them, that is the popliteus muscle making that start in that flexion. Now as far as exercises go, it is quite difficult to actually exercise it the way that you need to. The way you need to exercise it is obviously the way that it functions. So you're looking at flexion of the knee and also internal rotation of the of the knee. So in order to strengthen it you're looking at uh, activities like running and walking where your knee automatically does that as compared to any uh, any leg flexion type of exercises. So for example seated leg curls would probably not be the best option for this muscle only because it doesn't allow the internal rotation of the knee. Your, your legs are kind of locked in place so it only does knee flexion. Now whenever you're running or walking this automatically happens. So what you can do is you can walk uphill or run uphill, uh, that would help. Um, or if you're new to walking or running, just a plain old on a flat surface would be great. Um, but other than that, um, I don't believe I can think of any possible, I mean you can walk with a band around your ankles. Obviously, it would be a lot smaller steps or a band, not around the ankles, but around the upper thighs, and that would also help. Um, but other than that, 
Um, I would suggest just to stick to walking and running and just making those more difficult or easy as you need them for your fit, particular fitness level. Um, but other than that, um, that's it for this video. I'm sorry it's so short, but I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. If you did find value in it, hit the like button, pass it on with the share. Um, leave any comments or questions down below and I will be willing to get back to them as soon as I possibly can. But until then, I will see you guys next week.